sitting here looking through my rods and my reels. And I thought to myself, I've done a lot of Shimano videos. Well, not a lot, but a good amount. But why didn't I ever do one about the Shimano Cronarch CI4 Plus? So I decided I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the features on this reel, show it to you guys, talk a little bit about it. Uh. It's probably going to be a boring video, but it is the Cronarch. It's a seven bearing system. It has six of the SARB bearings and then it has one ARB roller clutch bearing. Okay. And like I've been saying, it also has the SVS Infinity braking system, but it has the red brake shoes. Okay. It is not the advanced SVS Infinity, which has the white brake shoes. Uh, the Cronarch MGL has the white brake shoes. CI4 has the red brake shoes. You're also going to have the Magnum light spool, okay? And you're going to have, of course, the quick fire clutch bar. Okay. Now you're gonna notice on the CI4 Plus, okay? To the left is off, to the right is on. Okay, usually when I use these rails, I like to use two on, two off with a low outside adjustment dial on one or two. Most of the time I keep it on two on, two off, and then I just adjust this outside dial. If there's no wind, whatever, or anything like that, I will fish it with one brake and then adjust the dial accordingly, okay? But one thing that I do have to tell you guys, the brakes on and off on the Cronarch CI4, like I said, it's left to right, okay? But on the MGL, it is not left to right. It is up and down. On the MGL, if you have the brakes down, that is on. If you have the brakes up and locked, that is off. I wanted to show you guys that because I've had people get confused about that or ask me. And there's even been times where I've done it wrong. It's That's fishing. Stuff happens. Those are the replacement brace shoes. The oil that I talk about for the reel, for the braking system. It is the Bantam oil. If you follow the instruction manual, it recommends that you take one drop of the Shimano brake oil, and you put it on the outside right here, and then you put one drop in the inside, okay? And that is the oil for the brakes, okay? Pretty sure it came out at iCast in July 2013. This reel won best of show, okay? Best of show, 2013. It's got it. Oh, that's a pig. The reel is made in Japan, uh, and it is approved for freshwater and saltwater use. Uh, I figured I might as well mention that because I've had a lot of people ask me, hey, can you use it in freshwater and salt water? Yes, you can. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe that the Cronark before this one was the Cronark E. What do I like better? The Cronark CI4 or the Cronark MGL? I mean, honestly, I like both. I feel like the MGL cast farther and the MGL is maybe a little bit smoother. You know, they're both going to have that real back play. You know, but that's that's one of the that's just one of the things that I've came to get used to, you know, with with Shimano reels is you're going to get that back play. This reel weighs 6.5 ounces and it was available in the 6 2 to 1 gear ratio which is the one right here, and the 7 6 to 1. The 6 2 to 1, I believe, was uh, 26 inches per turn, and then the 7 6 to 1 was 32 inches per turn. What do I like to use the Cronark for? Um, honestly, the 6 2 to 1 gear ratio, or the 6 as I call it, I like to use that for crank baits, spinner baits, some jerk baits, just moving baits in general. The 7 6 to 1, I like to use for jigs, Texas rigs, flipping and pitching, uh, frogging, heavy cover. 
uh, a faster retrieve reel I will use for baits and I want to get back to me quickly. Look at all the pieces. Intricate puzzle. You will notice I repeat on a cast with the 6-2 and the 7-6 that you're going to get a noise sometimes, you know, when you... <clears throat> so that is going to be it for me for the day. I have this video, the next Lucky Tackle Box, and one more fishing video coming out. And that might be it until after the family trip next month. Been really busy lately, but I appreciate your guys' patience. Hang in there. After I get back from this trip, should be a lot of videos, but I'll see you guys.